everyone, it's Sanada and I scribble, but today it's a sketchbook tour. It's actually two sketchbooks, um, this big one and this small one. They span about a year and I'm doing two because this one has fared so poorly. I'm ashamed of how it's been treated, like it's just not, I'm never buying A5 flip sketchbooks ever again because apparently they don't live very well when I have them. And uh, these are both very experimental, sketchy, thumbnails, idea sketchbooks because they're from a time where um, pretty much six months before I started doing YouTube regularly and then a little bit after. So I'm just going to get right into showing the drawings in these two. The quality is going to vary because it was, as I said, from before I started doing this thing regularly. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with this tragedy. This sketchbook has been with me since uh, August 2015 and uh, it lasted till about May 2016, so 10-ish, 8-ish months. It has been rained on, on this side. I had it in a sort of open tote bag and the sky opened up and in the matter of minutes I was soaking wet, including everything in my backpack. It has also been coffeed on because I had to put away my coffee. I had one of those like travel mug coffees. Put it down in my bag because usually it, my stuff stands up well in my bag. But this one tipped over and voila, coffee. So yeah, this one has not fared well. So first page, I practice drawing hugs. And uh, this one in the middle is the only one I referenced off photo. And then I did some my smaller doodles of my OC, so Sigma Epsilon, Sigma Epsilon, uh, Yoda, Haruka, and I think that's either Yoda and Haruka or Yoda and Mayura. I didn't like detail them more than the ears, and I have to go on that. My <laughs> Hazel Dawn OC, Rena Starflash. My Sonic stuff is something I go into about once a year. I get the urge to draw Sonic stuff again, and then I do it for a couple of months, and then I'm okay again. The thing about Sonic stuff is that it's easy. You don't really have to follow all the anatomy rules and stuff like that, and I've always liked that about the style. Random Girl, uh, inspired by, I guess, Mad Hatter, Alice in Wonderland stuff. And then there's this one. This are These are like scene thumbnails. Um, I've done a few sort of picture slide music videos where I draw pictures to the lyrics of a certain song and then I put them together to the song. This was one I still want to do actually, but more in a scene or comic form, where I got uh, the song No One Gets Away, Not Even in Sweden, by Veronica Maggio, and I used the characters from Ichiban Idol. And basically I just drew in thumbnails based on the lyrics. So all these have connections to the lyrics stuff, so yeah. I'm hoping I can use that in the future. Uh, there are actually some thumbnails on this page for this drawing. Now this is a drawing of my characters, Maeda and Skina. They were promoting Superman and Batman like crazy. And um, I had gone into a Batman binge at the time, so I was like, I am going to buy superhero underwear, which I did. And immediately dressed up some of my favorite characters in said underwear. Here are some more thumbnails, and you'll see this drawing on a later page. Uh, some practice drawings. This was for um, an art class. We were supposed to draw a self-portrait based on like a selfie. So, and we had to draw it like three different times. So we had to do a sketch with shadows. We had to do. Uh, we had to put an overhead paper, like a transparent paper on top, and then line it using a black liner and just like get the most important features so that it would look like us. It was really interesting. Here you go, this was the thumbnail from before. This is a drawing I still want to finish. It's been sitting in my unfinished folder in my computer for about, yeah, a little more than a year. Uh, sitting at a coffee house, I saw a girl in a really pretty outfit, so I decided to draw her outfit on my character Mars. I saw a pretty girl at the bus stop and she was wearing like all black but she had the most amazing leopard print top and leopard print like uh, pumps on. Uh, she was really cute so I wanted to draw her. And then this one <laughs> you've seen so many times already. I first did a digital speed paint of this in early 2016. Then I redid it as an Inktober piece uh, just last month. So. 
Uh, this one has been through the ringer. Uh, just a random little doodle. These are characters from uh, a children's uh, storybook series called Who. They look kind of, they're kind of ugly cute, which is probably why I like them so much. And then we have this page, which, mm, ignore that he's sort of, his head is chopped off, but uh, this was sort of the base for a line of dolls I wanted to make, just these flat, cute, chibi dolls, and uh, it was at the time where Vix were promoting Chained Up. This here is facial data for my Mass Effect character. Speaking of, this is like a portrait I did of her. And I've actually restarted recently. I'm playing Mass Effect Tandem, one male and one female playthrough, because I've been trying to start a male playthrough for the longest time. But I can't, because I don't like playing... Like, I get too attached to my female Shepard. So I'm playing them tandem to make sure I finish them both. This was a basic concept for the um, gods in uh, the Elemental series. Uh, the thing about the gods is that they're... Um, they're sort of formless, and they take on the form of the race of the person they grant their powers to. It's very hard to explain this without sounding absolutely kooky. More on those gods, like um, their symbols, their markings, a page of idea stuff, I guess. Oh lordy, I played... This is sort of the beginning of my YouTube channel. I played a lot of Undertale. Uh, I was a little late to the party, like I played it in December, January, I think. But yeah, Papyrus is definitely my favorite. Sans is a cutie though. And then we have this Gaster, which was the basis for the first traditional painting I ever put up on this channel. Which I want to hide from the world because the video is crap. I should redo it, that way I can hide it. Um, but I really like the creepy more creepy gaster, rather than the cute one. Some adventure time. There's probably going to be quite a bit of adventure time. Here is... I never showed them on my channel, but um, I did them in Paris, like with their gender bend. So I have one of Bubblegum and Gumball. I have one of Marceline and Marshalee. And I wanted to do one of Flame Princess and Flame Prince, but I never... Uh, I couldn't figure out a good post. Uh, post practice. This is from the site Postmaniacs. So I did some quick, I think I did one minute, uh, one minute sketches. Here are some more, and here you can see we're in February 2016 here. And here are a few more. Since this is a third page, it kind of looks the best because I'm starting to get a hang of it. More poses, some thumbnails. More Adventure Time thumbnails, post-practice, I did it in different pens because I felt bored. Um, more on this side. You see, some are, some are like full and then some are just halfway done. Eyes. I had watched Carnival and they have the most amazing, like, eye coloring technique. And then I did the same technique but with my Boku no Monogatari characters. More notes. This is actually thumbnails for something. Ooh, Steven Universe thumbnails. These are actually um, on hold. I had a thing I wanted to do but I couldn't really draw the characters properly so I had to put it on hold. And here was when I was thinking of what character I wanted to make for myself, and uh, this one is scrapped, but this is Citrine. She looks a lot better now, because she looks more quartzy. She's super skinny here. Yeah, and then that was actually the last page, so I'm going to go over to the other sketchbook now. But if we open it up, we have the date, October 2015, September 2016, so it lasted me a year, only because I started tearing pages out of it towards the end to use with Copic Snow, but with alcohol markers. My character is Skino and Maida, and uh, I think it had been particularly cold, so I wanted to draw them. I think they're supposed to be on a bus, because the bench is very small, and I just wanted to draw them, like, casually hanging out. More winter stuff. Winter is, like, my favorite season. I just sweater, weather, and all that. Uh, Skino and Tsubasa, more Skino. 
my characters, Nova and Claire. This one isn't even finished. Undertale fan art. Problem is I can't remember her name. Muffet. Muffet, wasn't it Muffet? Um, she's super cute. And then I drew Claire, and these are actually newer. These are like, this one is December, and this one is April. Uh, here I'd gotten the Spectrum Noir markers, and I was testing them out. Some Undertale charms I wanted to make. I still haven't gotten to it yet. And more of my elemental design stuff. This here is a practice page. I picked out some really pretty artwork, and I imitated it. So, like, I've just simply copied the designs, but I simply just copied the design of the drawing right off. Drawing I still haven't made, but it's supposed to be Skin on Tsubasa, and Tsubasa is supposed to have his head on Skinel's lap, but I couldn't get the proportions right, so I just abandoned it. I got the Pendle Pocket Brush, and I tried to use it drawing stuff. I was sitting at a cafe, so I just drew stuff in my surrounding. Oh, this one! This one is actually not mine. I asked my friend uh, Joachim to try out the pen, and he really likes drawing dragons and stuff, so he did a few of those, and it's really pretty. <laughs> um, I drew Cinda Quill for some reason. I dwelled into the world of chibis with K-pop in mind, so uh, these two are random, but this was based on Moonbya from Mamamoo, and this is Victoria from FX. I suck at chibi drawing, seriously. Uh, and then I did this one that I still haven't finished and I really want to. I'm thinking of blowing it up and doing an ink or something with it. But I um, took a picture of Mamamoo and just basically redrew them as chibis. This was a prelim sketch for a very old video I did. Prelim sketches for my three color challenge. I should do one of those again. A sketch for uh, Re Moon on the Water. I'm still very proud of this. Here was some idea stuff that I wanted to make. I spent pretty much all spring uh, watching uh, baseball anime and uh, I still love it so much. I wish I had more time to draw baseball stuff. But yeah, so I drew some baseball peeps with photo references. Uh, meet the artist profile that I never finished because it got too cluttery. The Pokemon starters! This was for me, we draw daily. More baseball, but this time I drew with the Ace of Diamond characters using photo references. Except this one, this one is a red one. A page full of Ejun because it was Ejun's birthday. And uh, I wanted to draw him with chrysanthemums and carnations. White carnations. Um, a bad concept that I never finished. It was for the washi tape challenge, but I scrapped it. This one, I think... I'm not sure. No, it was for the 30 day art challenge I did in September. It didn't turn out very good. I have too few colors and too bad of a concept over how markers work. Anyway, that was the last page. These are finished. I cannot finally put them away because I've shown them to you as well. <laughs> so that is that. Thank you so much for watching. Please do if you haven't taken a moment to subscribe if you want to see more sketchbook tours and art videos and stuff of that like. Until next time, bye!